Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, while we're waiting on the uh, thermostats and stuff to come in so I can burn that reverse flow and test the temperatures on it, they should be in the day, I believe. But uh, I got this other project that I need to get started on because I need to have it done before the 28th. And it's going to be a strange project. Um, let me show you what I got here. I built this barrel pit a couple years ago, or I think a couple years ago, and the guy brought it back to me. He wants to put it on a trailer. You can tell he's been cooking the mess out of it. But he kept the racks at the house. But he wants to put it on a trailer, and this is the trailer he brought me. It's a Harper Freight trailer, the small one. And it's already on flat. He had the pit when he brought it here. He tied the pit to it kind of weird. And it was hanging over the side and drugged that tire and ripped half the valve stem off of it. But anyway, I mean, if you could see both in the picture, <laughs> you could probably tell that barrel pit don't fit on that trailer. And nowhere near to fitting on that trailer. So I think what we're going to have to do is make this trailer longer. That's the only way I can see or either leave the, the pit hanging off the back end a long ways. That may work. I'll measure it and see. But what I worry about, if it wasn't for the tables on the side, that would probably make it. But that table is going to add another, what, 12, 14 inches on either side. So I think we're going to have to make it longer. We'll check it out and see. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take that barrel pit, cut all the legs and everything off of it, mount it onto this trailer.
All right, that'll do it on the neck. That added about three foot to it, almost three foot. This is the old one here. And it was just a single channel. That's all it is, is channel iron. With a couple braces put in it. But uh, we had some issues with the wheels. And this neck, it's still all bolt on. It's bolted back, the middle one bolted back to where the original one was. And it's, the frame has so many bolt holes in it that I used some existing ones to bolt that part on. And this part over here. And then it's welded up there. And the uh, hitch is still welded on. I mean, uh, bolted on. But anyway, the wheels, remember at the beginning I said that the pit had fell over and tore that valve stem up and flattened the tire. So I tried to move it and the tire fell off, which I'm glad it did fall off in the yard while I was just pushing it around. But apparently what happened is I just talked to him. Uh, the guy, he said he had somebody else put them together, put this frame together, and he didn't put the cotter pins in right here to hold the nut and all that in there and the bearing and everything. So apparently when he had that flat, he said he seen the dust cap and that washer sitting on the uh, uh, on the ground beside the trailer. So he just sh shoved it back on there. But apparently when that happened, the nut and the bearing, the front cone bearing, flew out of there. And that's why the wheel fell off. So he's trying, and that's part of the dust cover on the back side of it. So he's trying to go get a bearing and a nut. The one on this side, the nut was just about to come off, so we got it off too. And he brought the cotter pins. <laughs> but, uh, so right now while I'm waiting on to figure out what to do with these wheels, hopefully nothing's tore up inside that hub and we can just put a bearing and a nut in there and get it put back on. But while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start building the brackets to put it on the trailer to mount the, tra the pit to the trailer because i got to cut all the legs and everything off of it. And so we'll just go from there while we're waiting on the wheel work. Alright, that was the brackets that I was making that the pit's actually going to sit on. I went ahead and bolted them on here. I sprayed a little paint around the bottoms of them last night. But I went ahead and bolted them on, kind of loose. Now it's just a matter of getting everything cut off of this pit. Getting it raised in the air and put onto the trailer. And that's kind of hard without the wheels. <laughs> but um, I'm going to try to get some help moving this thing around without the wheels. And then hopefully get it moved back up under the thing once I got the pit up in there.
All right, y'all. That's just about everything I'm going to do to it. It came out looking good mounted on there. You can see that uh, with it on, the reason why that neck had to be extended, the hitch would be way up under that table somewhere if I wouldn't have made it longer. And the last thing I was working on was that cage on the back. I know it was hard to see any of it. I was kind of in a bind right here between this tarp and everything, trying to keep the wind off of me. I'm fixing to have to do something else because this wind's bad today. But as soon as he gets the wheel, uh, the bearing and the nut, I'll get the wheels put back on. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the video up right now, and I'll get the lights put on on the back. And after that, it'll be done. I went ahead and added some ears here so you can put pins in them to keep the doors from flying open going down the road. So that'll pretty much do it. Everything came out looking real good. It looks good on there. So anyway, man, that'll do it on that one. Uh, I think the next video is, is burning this reverse flow. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna try to do it today probably. And uh, I don't know what's after that. But anyway, we'll see y'all on the next one, man. Y'all please like and subscribe and come back later.